Hi everyone, tonight I am doing a uh, mar water marble on my nails. I just did a Vita Gel um, manicure with silk wraps on my nails. And if you'd like to take a look at that video, feel free to do so. Also feel free to subscribe and message me with any questions that you may have. Um, I, I will show you the finished product. <clears throat> I did a holographic color with a black. And on this side of my nails, I used uh, Sally Hansen's Insta Dry in Silver Sweep. And on my thumb, and you will see the color payout on this is a lot better, a lot richer. I used just a simple coat of OPI's DS Sapphire. Now for my um, right hand I did just one very thin coat of DS Sapphire on my nails and I really like this color I've never used it I already have two of my nails taped up and <clears throat> the colors that I will be using is Sally Hansen's extreme wear nail color in blackout and of course OPI's DS Sapphire so I'm just gonna set everything up here and I'll let you know what I have available. Obviously, as you can see on my table, I have a paper towel to work with. And I have one here that I did the other hand with. I just fold it up and I have my orange stick and I just wipe it on the paper. I also have my Dappen dish full of um, acetone. And I have some Q-tips here to help me clean out, clean up a little bit. Okay. So I will start my water marble. Um, in this cup, it's just a basic, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it's just a basic uh, paper cup. And I have room temperature water. Um, it's actually from the sink. It's tap, but I preserve it in a bottle of water, a, a water bottle, and I leave it by my desk for whenever I want to do some water marbling. So the best water to use is room temperature filtered water but I do not have any at the moment so I will use regular room temperature water that I have in my office so I will start my design now as you can see it doesn't spread very well Here, let me just move everything a little closer and of the OPI I put two drops and just one drop of black. So I'll follow two drops, one drop, two drops, one drop. Uh, sorry about that guys. Getting a text I'm assuming. They will have to just wait until I'm finished with my video. And just do it until you feel you've got the bullseye just how you like it. I was going to attempt to do two fingers, but we'll see where this takes me. So I'm just going to pull the design. See, it's separating already, so I think it's just drying too quickly. So I'll work with what I got. This one's not going to come out as good as I like it to look, but I've got a little design here. And I'll just dip my forefinger. I'll be blowing on the water. Just take a Q-tip and pick up the excess nail polish. Slowly take it out of the water. There you go. That's the design. Now we'll remove the tape. Ooh. That's pretty messy stuff, so expect to have a mess in your hands and clean up. I will just take some acetone and just clean around my nail. 
the tape helps a great deal. And that is the after. <clears throat> and just top it off with any top coat. I'll be using Such Feet on my nails, which I really like a lot better than out the door, but that's just my personal opinion. So this is this is the final result. I hope you guys liked my video. Thank you for watching.